Hi all, today we are going to discuss Python DCA code or you can say hands on which were asked in June this year. Guys, you can treat these questions as previous year questions. If you just follow these codes, if you just look at the questions and just go to the Google and type there, you can find solutions. And guys, one thing I would like to say here is that if you look at the Java code, then there we have different packages. You can see here. Here they are giving different packages and inside that you have to write different codes. So it will be very confusing to all the candidates. You can see here one more code like here they are given different classes inside different packages and you have to write the codes. So that was creating very confusion in different candidates. Even they know the code, they were not able to write the code in correct package. Okay, But if you look at the code of Python, then you can find that they are simply giving a class and inside that you have to write your method you can see here read only reason end write your code here here you have to write the code that's it nothing else okay no package so according to me python codes were a bit easy than java so my advice to all of you is that please go through the code at least once so that it can give you an idea that which kind of code they are asking on which topic they are asking so that you can prepare accordingly. Please like this video and subscribe the channel for my efforts because it takes lot of efforts and pain to create any video for you. Okay. So guys, let's move to our code and let's look the first code. If you look at the first code, then you can see that they are asking on bitwise operator. Okay. You can see here, Jonathan utilizing his summer vacations by learning about arrays. He is solving a problem and gets stuck at some point and asks you for help. You are given an array A of size n containing non-negative integers. So you are getting an array with size n and having non-negative integer. You can see here 1, 4, 24, 2. Okay. After that they are saying you can remove a sub array from array A. Okay. You have to remove a sub array from array A such that bitwise or of all elements in the remaining array is maximum possible okay so you can see here they are saying is that let's suppose you are taking this array 1 4 24 2 and input is 4 that is the length of this array is 4 okay so output they are giving is 0 because the bitwise or of whole array is 31 you count bitwise or of whole array then it will be coming as 31 okay which is the maximum value possible and it can't be achieved by removing any sub array so zero has to be returned as answer so if you are going to type this code on google then most probably you will be getting the answer now if you look at the next question then it is based on tree okay first question was based on bitwise operator and sub array next question is based on tree if in order and level order traversal of a tree is given what is the minimum height of a tree so you have to type on google write a python code in which if we have in order and level order traversal of a tree then what is the minimum height of that tree so what you will be given is the in order traversal of the tree will be given label order traversal will be given and n it means number of nodes in the tree will be given so three things will be given to you and after that you have to calculate the minimum height of the tree and see here we have to return minimum depth of the tree okay so you have to write this code so this code was based on tree okay now let's discuss the next code look at the next code again this is based on array and sub array you are given an array of positive numbers of size n and integer k you need to partition the array into k continuous segments for each segment the sum of its elements need to be calculated okay you have to partition an array into k continuous segment and for each segment you have calculate the sum okay now the segment with minimum sum is called base segment and the sum of elements of the base segment is called base sum okay the segment with minimum sum is called base segment and the sum of elements of the base segment is called base sum so for all possible combinations of partitions of array when divided into k segments their base same needs to be calculated and the one among them with maximum value needs to be returned okay so you have to do this so three things will be given array n of positive numbers integer n denoting the length of array and integer k here they have given three inputs input one array elements input two length of array 
and input 3 a number k that is 2 output that they are giving is 4 let's discuss explanation okay you can partition the given array into two continuous segments in the following manner 1 2 3 and 4 the sum of individual segments is 6 comma 4 and the base sum is 4 you can again partition it as 1 2 and 3 4 the sum of individual segments is 3 comma 7 and the base sum is 3 you can again partition it into this way 1 and 2 3 4 sum of individual segments is 1 comma 9 and the base sum is 1 the maximum value of base sum among these is 4 so 4 will be returned as answer okay i hope all of you have got some idea about the question okay now let's discuss the fourth question it is totally based on a string and dictionary okay so dog was using google and was amazed to see the autocomplete feature how autocomplete works all of you know that it searches the database for all possible words that can be formed using the characters that are provided by user as input for example if a user types cis in search bar then suggestion would be cisco cisf cissp cism cisa okay all the words starting from cis okay after that he thought about applying the same feature in his search engine in his prototype he took a string as domain which contained all words he could search okay so as his designer you have to tell him how many unique autocomplete options will be provided to him if something is entered in the input field okay if you look at the input given in question then you can find that two inputs were given the one is domain string and the other is input word or prefix of the word so you can see here you have to return the string array containing all unique autocomplete options okay one is they so input one is this is the introductory information of new word search engine polyhop so this is database for you this will be acting like a database for you you have to store all these words okay in your database after that they have said input in okay now output should be introductory and information you have to search this database this line with the help of in like how many words in this database are going to be started with in then you can find that introductory and information are two words which will be starting from in so here they have said like that in the domain string words starting from in are information and introductory if you look at output if you look at example two input one is seed condimentum aliquid torture convalis dignitium an input is con so the output will be condimentum and convalis okay so i think here you have to use either dictionary or hash map if you will be using those two you can be easily solving the question okay 